Hi guys, in the last video we, are, we were able to create a simple uh, C program uh, which just prints uh, a sort of a string and we also know what that means. These are escapes for, in this case, a new line. We also had a you know, escape character for, uh, for tabs. And uh, we know what that is for. That is for, you know, if, you're, if, you're, if your uh, application closes down immediately uh, so fast that you can't even see its output, you just uncomment that to, to, to keep the application open until you press another key. This is a comment and this is needed this library or header is needed for us to be able to print. Now in this video, we're going to go a step further. And in this video, we're going to create a, an application called A minor. And this application is uh, supposed to greet you, ask you for your age. And depending on your age, if you're like uh, bigger than, big, uh, older than 18, then that application will tell will say oh you're an adult or basically output you're an adult and if you're under 18 then this application will say that you're a minor so how do we get started with that well let's start simple first uh, let's start with the uh, with the greeting we already got that now we need the age and let's start simple first uh, obviously, obviously, I can basically print. Uh, let's 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 put a, pr a new print statement here, uh, and that would be a print. Um, your age is I don't know. Let's say twenty three. Okay, so in that case, that would print that specific age. And save it now. Uh, another thing is uh, in the last video I used code blocks. In this video, I'm, I'm using uh, Visual Studio Code for the simple reason that to show you how to uh, use Visual Studio Code and how do you call your uh, compile and um, execute your C program from the terminal. So that's why in this video I'm sticking to Visual Code because in this video it's much more advantageous to show you that. Right, so we have got now um, basically the same thing as before, but we just added a new uh, statement where uh, the age is 23. Now, if I'm, there's two ways to output in uh, Visual Studio Code. One way is to use that button and you get the output here. However, that's very limited because um, you'll see later. Uh, let's keep it a surprise. Now, let me go to the terminal. Now, how do I... Uh, you know, uh, get my program running. Well, first of all, I've got to go into the directory where that source file is. And that source file is in uh, one, one layer uh, down. So I go CD and that is the, the folder or the directory where that is, is, is C components. Right. Um, have I? Oh. Um, C components right now we're in that directory and now what I do I need to compile my program and the way you compile I'm gonna put this you know that that, that string in, in the description below you go GCC that's my compiler and I, I guess most of you would have that uh, then minus O that's for output and then you need a target what you know we are every time we compile C we're creating an exit file uh, sort of an executable file so what is that file called well uh, let me just call it ABC and now comes the fourth element what is your source code my source code is called components.c components.c so again I have the compiler in this case GCC output ABC is the target app, basically the, the executable file I want to generate with my source code. And this is the source code. And now I just go return and that will generate the, so now, now it's generated. Now in order to call my application, all I got to do is say abc.exit and, and that, uh, mind you, that application is in this folder, abc.exit and then it's, it will print um, those two statements. 
So there you go. Hi there, and you're age 23. So that's that's the way you activate um, uh, C programs or compile C programs in your terminal, be it in Visual Studio Code or whatever, and then you call your app that exe file uh, through, uh, you know, calling it AB, like in this case abc.exe. And remember, like C, in contrast to other languages like Python, like Julia. C is a compiled language, so basically I have just generated an executable file and application. I don't need no interpreter. I don't need no in-between software for my application to work. I can just pass that application to anybody and they can make it work on, on your computer. And that's that's why C is, is, uh, is also quite fast because it doesn't have this layer in between what other languages have like Python, Julia, and... Uh, uh, JavaScript and so on. That's why that's the difference between interpreted language and compiled languages. Other compiled languages would be like Go, uh, Rust, um, C++ obviously, um, and so on. Java is for instance an interpreted language, you need the JVM. C Sharp is also interpreted because you need that .NET framework. So yeah, anyways. Okay, now, but that's, uh, the, the problem with that is that, you know, uh, it's not that flexible. So let, let's take it. Let's take it a notch further. And I need a variable. I need to set a variable uh, for the age. And the way you set variables in C is the, this way. Uh, what type is it? Well, we're talking about ages here, and ages are basically integers. I don't know anybody who's like 23.5 years old or 23.75 years old. So basically, either 23 or 24 or 25 or whatever. So it's an integer. And to set an, uh, uh, an integer variable, you just go int, that's short for integer, the name of the variable, uh, let's say user age. And now, and that's it. So I just initialized uh, a variable called user age. In this case, it does not have a value. Now I can instantiate this uh, uh, variable right here, where I'd say, you know, it's like equal to, I don't know, like 23, or I can do it somewhere else. I mean, further down the line. Both, now this, in this case, I have declared a variable and instantiated at the same time, or I just, you know, um, just just uh, created a variable has no value and then down here I could give it I would say uh, yeah user age is 23 and that's it now the thing is how do I integrate or integrate this um, variable into this text because this is pretty static and the way you do it is like this. Well, you need some kind of placeholder. And the placeholder is for, um, for, a, for an int, for an integer, is uh, percent %d. Uh, sorry, percent %d. The, uh, percent %d. And uh, now I've got a placeholder uh, in this text. And I can here say uh, years old. And now this placeholder is gonna be filled with a value. Where does that value come from? Well, comma, user age. So basically, whatever, oops, whatever the value of uh, user age, that is gonna be placed exactly here in 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 in, in replacement of the percent %d, and then the the output would read your age is 23 years old. And if you change um, that variable to any other value, then uh, you know obviously a different print. So let's let's try a couple of uh, couple of prints. Let's copy that. And oh yeah, and let me put a new line here so we have them uh, below each other. And let me copy that now. Boom. And let's go. So now I have here another age which is like I don't know, like uh, make it fifty-seven. And uh, I don't have to change anything here. Right, so now let's save it. And I go down here and repeat the same string. First of all, I've got to compile it. Uh, o, uh, ABC, which basically overwrites the original ABC and components.c and go. So I just compiled it and now 
I just run it, abc.exe, and it should now produce the outputs that we expect, which is the high there, then your age is 23 years old, that's this statement, and then you, know, you see the variable, the user age variable uh, got a new value, and then that print takes this new value. So that's the way we operate with variables. So pretty got now, we're, we're coming forward in our application. Now, the one thing what's missing here is I would like the user to input his own age. And because, you know, I'm a programmer, I'm the programmer of this application and the user is not necessarily the programmer. So I would like the user to have this option of inputting his age and then for the program to decide whether this guy is, a, is, a, is, a, is an adult or a minor. And I think we'll do that in the next video.